Thank you from the ESM, uh, Klaus Reiling. Thank you. Yes, good evening. Um, let me first join the President of the Eurogroup and Commissioner Gentiloni and also express my sympathy and the sympathy of all my colleagues at the ESM with the many who have already died because of the coronavirus. These are dramatic times, dramatic from the health side, but also dramatic in financial markets. And all that will have significant consequences for the economy of the euro area. The statement um, that you have received mentions all the initiatives underway in member states. A lot is happening, and rightly so. All institutions were asked, as the chairman said, by the Eurogroup to look into all possibilities within their mandates how to support the economies of the member states of the euro area. The ESM is fully functioning. We have an unused lending capacity of 410 billion euro, which is around 3.4% of euro area GDP. We have a number of facilities and several of them have never been used. So we will think, and we will do that with the commission, whether and how these facilities could be useful under current circumstances. And the circumstances are very different from 10 years ago. A quick word on Greece. Um, we looked very briefly at the fifth enhanced surveillance report that was prepared by the Commission and our participation. Um, there are some weaknesses, but overall it is a very positive report. Um, I was in Athens a week ago. I met with the Prime Minister, the Finance Minister and the Central Bank Governor. Greece, unfortunately, is hit by two new crises. One is the coronavirus that affects all of us. The second is the migration problem that is um, happening at the Greek border, which also is the border of the EU. So Greece needs some help here and Commission President von der Leyen was in Greece um, two weeks ago and provided um, help. During my visit, I was impressed by the determination of the Greek government to continue with its reform program, despite the new problems. The Prime Minister actually said that in light of these new problems, the country must accelerate reforms. So I think that is encouraging. Thank you very much.